Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Asha and today I'm going to be doing a third eye fortune teller look. So first of all, I'm going to be doing some wee space buns. I'm twisting them up and then spraying them with some water so that I have curly hair later. Now I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange and just use that around my mouth and under my eyes to, to take away any darkness around there. Obviously this part is optional, um, so if you have darkness that's what you can do. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some double wear makeup. Um, this is the foundation in Henna. So I'm putting that around the mouth and I'm pressing that into my skin with a Real Techniques brush. And now I'm using the colour Cashew over my cheeks. I found these two colours work really well for me if I do it like this. Um, it's probably my best technique I've got so far. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to put Henna back onto my forehead again. Now I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Medium Beige. I'm just putting this under my eyes and um, blending it in with a Real Techniques setting brush. This is fluffy, I quite like this brush, it's really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C11. And I'm just taking away the darkness under my eyes with that. And I'm just, oh poke myself in the eye. I'm just um, pressing this into my skin with a damp sponge. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow. I'm just pressing this in with my damp sponge. And then I'm just using it to um, go all over my nose and high points of my face as well. And now I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Powder in Golden Glow. And I'm just pressing that into my skin um, on the rest of my face, just to, yeah, press that all in. This powder's been working really well for my um, shade of foundation as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Duo Powder in Light Medium. And I'm using um, the highlighter in it all over my um, high points of my face. And then I'm mixing it together just to kind of put that all the way under my eye. And I'm just pressing that in with a damp sponge again. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. This is the Estee Lauder Brow Multitasker in Dark Brunette. I really like this product because the pencil is quite hard. So it um, creates a really nice defined shape without looking too feathered. Um, so I wanted to look quite intense. So I definitely thickened up my eyebrows for this look. Totally up to you if you want to do it um, thinner as well. Now I'm using the powder from the center and just placing that all over the eyebrows just to fill in any sparser areas and set the makeup and then brushing that through with the wand on the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my eyebrows with the um, Estee Lauder Brow Now Volumizing Tint. And yeah, now it's time for eyes. So this is the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Teddy. I'm just um, kind of brushing that all the way around and smoking it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Curfew by Makeup Geek and that's just going to go straight into the crease and under the eye. Then I'm going to use the colour Fashion Addict and really brighten everything up and I'm just blending that through the crease and around the eye. Now I'm going to use this MAC eyeshadow in Nihu. I can't really say it, sorry. It's the black, it's really really black, it's good and it's matte. So I'm just using that to create a halo um, kind of creasing going on in my eye. And then I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly just to, um, you know, carve everything out and create a really nice halo shape around the top of my eye. And then I'm setting that with the ColourPop um, eyeshadow. This colour is in Telepathy. I really, really like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and carve out my, the rest of my crease. Oh, drop the thing there. Um, and I'm just going to carve that out with some gel liner by Estee Lauder. Um, so I'm just taking my time and really creating a nice rounded shape. I don't want to go too far over the yellow um, or the gold, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, and then I'm winging that shape out almost to look like a sunset, like over the horizon or over the water. I'm just blending that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the color Game Face by Colourpop and put that in the center of my lid and kind of over telepathy slightly. And then I'm using another shadow and this one is called Slave to Pink. 
This is an amazing colour, by the way. It, um, it has a beautiful blue reflect. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Geek Shadow in Secret Garden. I really like this shade. It's such a pretty colour. So you're going to put that on the um, inner and outer corner over the black and blend them all together and make sure it all looks nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Vivid Sapphire. These are those um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. They're amazing. So I'm just painting that on with an actual paintbrush. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same products, but this is in Wonderlust and Kitten Karma. And I'm carving out my inner um, crease to create a little bit of a um, cut there, but also just a bit of glamour. Taking the black eyeshadow again by MAC, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that into my crease and um, just deepen up that little bit of the halo there. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Colourpop eyeshadow and Get Lucky. As you can see, I love this colour. It's amazing for highlighting the brow bone and the inner corner. Then I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eye Pencils. This colour is Emerald Vault. I'm just putting that into my waterline. And then I'm going to smudge that out with Night Violet in my lash line. I'm just blending that through. And then up the top I'm using Onyx to type my line to line my tight line. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and take the black eyeshadow and blend out the bottom lash line a little bit more and kind of wing out the end there. And that is the eyes done. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme on my lips so that my lips are nice and plump for later. And I'm just going to use some Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray by MAC and just set my skin. I like to do this a couple of times throughout my makeup. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put the Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm using the colour Fawn and I'm really carving out my cheekbones and bone structure all over my face. So I'm going to do my temples, under my cheekbones, under my jawline and um, take a little little brush and do my nose. Just by the way, I am not extremely good at doing um, nose contour on myself. I find it quite difficult. I have a fairly annoying nose it's just not even so it's hard to make perfect but I do my best now I'm going to go ahead and use the Estee Lauder bronze goddess um, bronzer in medium deep and I'm just kind of putting that all over and blending all my contour out with it and just warming up my skin now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills moon child glow kit that was a mouthful <laughs> I'm taking pink heart first of all and putting that all over my cheeks And then I'm doing um, Lucky Clover and I'm doing that on the highest points of my cheekbones and blending that around my cheeks. And then I'm going to take um, Blue Ice which is really intense just on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Pink Heart again and I'm just using that above my brow, down my nose and on my cupid's bow. And I'm just extra, adding a little bit extra on my cheekbones. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and take the black again and we are using this to create the shape of the eye or the third eye. So yeah, taking your time, you can cut out a stencil and use that if you wanted to make it absolutely perfect. I'm going to do it freehand. I found that a lot, um, a lot easier and yeah, I like to draw eyes. So yeah, I just wanted to do this myself and then I'm just taking the brush and really darkening everything out once I've created a nice shape. Just colouring in the inner corners there as well, creating a bit of shadow. Now I'm going to use the um, Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm using the white shade and I'm just basically creating a nice white eye. <laughs> or colouring the whites of the eye, you know. And that's just going to shape the um, iris as well of the eye. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that with the Colourpop shadow in Taco. This is a really good colour. If, people, if you like a pure white eyeshadow and you need a lot of pigment, honestly, this is a really, really nice shadow for that. Now I'm just using the black and I'm blending um, out the edges and creating a little bit more of a sharp corner on the eye. So yeah, I'm just blending that through and creating a bit of shadow. Now I'm taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette um, and I'm using the first colour Access. It is a really vibrant canary yellow. 
and I'm just pressing that all over the eye, mainly focusing on the center, but just everywhere. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the color Secure, and that is a little bit more orange, and I'm putting that around the edges. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my black gel eyeliner again, and we are carving out and drawing out a pupil. You can do the pupil in any shape you like. I was going for a um, kind of curly teardrop shape, I guess you'd call it. I'm not sure, like a stretched teardrop. Um, I wanted it to be really, really, really thin at the top, so kind of different to um, animal eyes as well. Now I'm taking the yellow from the flash palette, and I'm actually just going to create some dimension around the pupil and really brighten up the inner part of the eye. And then I'm flicking it outward to create a little bit of shape. And mixing those two colors together to get a nice orangey, vibrant shade, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Setting that with the eyeshadow Poppy from Makeup Geek. Um, I didn't actually set the yellow, but you can if you want to, but you'll see why later. Now I'm taking Teddy again, and we are just creating um, a nice lid for the eye and going to put on some eyeshadow. <laughs> so I'm using the color Fashion Addict now. And we're just kind of blending that through. And then I'm using the color Poppy. Taking um, the black shade. Sorry guys, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> and I'm just carving out the um, crease and really giving the crease some dimension now. And then I'm taking Fashion Addict again all the way under the eye and blending that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this NYX Vivid um, eyeliner and it's called Halo or Vivid Halo. Um, basically I'm drawing little wee lines all over the yellow and I wanted that to kind of blend into the flash palette product. So yeah, that worked really, really well. Now I'm using the NYX White Liquid Liner to create a little bit of um, reflection on the eye. Um, up to you if you want to do this, but it does create a more realistic eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the Double Wear Liquid Eyeliner in Onyx and I'm going to draw my lashes. So I kind of wish I did less lashes for this look as I was doing it, but yeah, totally up to you. So basically I'm just holding it down and flicking it out to create a nice, um, you know, fluffy shape, I guess is the right word, like a nice lash shape, so thicker on the bottom and flick out towards the top. So as you can see, I space out the bottom lashes a little bit more and I quite like that. Obviously, most people have less lashes on their bottom eye, any, bottom lash line anyway, but anyway. So I'm just taking out my hair now so to make sure it dries before I go ahead and put my costume on. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Kylie Cosmetic Lip Pencil in Court K. Um, I actually really like this color. I don't like the liquid lipstick of this product. It's a bit drying, but I do like this color. Anyway, so I'm just going to line my lips and really create a big pout, and I'm just um, shadowing in the inner corners of my lips. Now I'm using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks, the first colour in Dreamhouse in the centre of my lips. And then now I'm going to use the other colour, uh, No Tea, No Shade. I <laughs> love that name. I'm just blending that through. Adding a little bit more Dreamhouse just to blend that through. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more Fix Plus spray again just to set everything in. And then fan that off. <laughs> then I'm going to put on some Glam Lashes. These are in Sophia. I love them. They're so gorgeous. And then putting on my costume. So I got this from an old sari, but honestly, you can do whatever you like. Um, there we go. This is Contact Lenses in Emerald Green by Iris Beauty. And we are done.